بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد عبد في الله الله عز وجل praises ahl al ilm and those who protect and preserve the path of ilm wa fiqh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al karim kul hawl yastawi alladhina ya'lamuna wal ladhina la ya'lamun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says say those who know are they the same as those who do not know and Allah Azza wa Jalla says يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allah raises those who believe from amongst you and those who are given knowledge in different levels or and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama that verily those who fear Allah amongst his servants are the ulama those are the most god-fearing those are the ones who have the most taqwa why is that a habit of Allah we have to ask ourselves how how can we begin to fit that description what is it that makes them have that level and the Prophet sallallahu said talab al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim that seeking knowledge is a, a, an obligation upon every muslim All of these nusul show us the fadl of Ahl al-ilm, of seeking knowledge, of talib al-ilm, of being of those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most, which is the ulama. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them t- this tazkiyah, this honor, this sharaf, this manzil, this place, this level, this status. This is from Allah azza wa jal. And when we look and you look to the lives of those of the mutaqaddimeen, meaning the salaf of this ummah, how they strove for knowledge, how they strove to, to collect and compile the ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, traveling lands to catch one hadith. Then you'll see how much taqseer, how weak we are when it comes to really seeking knowledge. And when we look at the ulama of Ahl sunnah in this time, how they strive, they devote all their time to ta'aleem, to teaching the people, teaching kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam, then you know the sharf of Ahl al-ilm. And this brings to mind our Shaykh, Shaykh Abdurrahman al-Mar'i al-Adani, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatun wasi'ah who was just killed by the takfirin Ahl al-Dalal wa Zayd and when we look at his short life and the life of his Shaykh, Shaykh Muqbil Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi Allah yarhamuhuma wa yaskinuhuma fi jannata firdaus When we look at their lives, how they strove, how they strove to preserve the sunnah and to be from ahliha, then it is just another example and another lesson for us on how we have to keep and continue on this path. We have to strive to gain knowledge. We have to strive to practice that knowledge. We have to strive to preach that knowledge. And we have to be patient on that path of gaining knowledge and calling to Allah Azza wa Jal because it's not an easy path. And we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, accepts our good and forgives our evil and blesses all of Ahl al-Ilm, all of Ahl al-Tamasik bi-Sunnah, all of Ahl al-Sunnah, all of Ahl al-Athar, all of Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'a, the Salaf of this Ummah, the Salafiyun. 
may Allah bless them all with guidance and the path of knowledge bless them to be the victorious in this life as well as the hereafter wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam